Welcome to today's class. We are going to start today knowing our numbers. This is a first chapter in mathematics for class 6. This syllabus, whatever you are seeing right now, the subsections are part of the contents of knowing our numbers. Basically, you will be knowing why numbers are required, how to understand comparing numbers and place values, how to read the numbers how to write the numbers and how to generate numbers and how to compare the numbers several things you will be going to understand from this chapter so basically i have divided five sessions totally let's go with the introduction then comparing numbers large numbers brackets then roma numbers this is how i'm going to continue one by one and let's go with what exactly we are going to cover in the in the second content that is a comparing numbers we are going to study on the how to find the largest how to find how to find largest and smallest number okay that is the one majorly we will understand we are going to understand how to find largest and smallest number a best methodology explained in this welcome to my channel educate to grow all my sessions are divided to subsection topic you can jump directly to specific content whichever you want during the session now let us study the comparing numbers the first section is how to find the largest number and smallest number let's check it out now and that is we are going to compare now so right now you have 92 uh, 392 4456 and 89742 number this is a kind of a first scenario here you first observe how many digits are given this is two digit and this is three digit four and five digit we can easily make it out which is the highest digit number this is the highest digit number hence this is bigger okay which is the smallest 92 because this is two digit this is the smallest number and this is the biggest so what is the rule first we need to find here the number of digits okay first condition next we will see another type of methodology to find the largest and smallest now let's put let's delete these things okay let's find out through this table we have zero position 10 position 100 thousand and ten thousand let's start with the first this number take this number take this number take this number because these are in the post zero position start this one this one first two here and we'll put here two in here and put six here and two here here okay so check now which is the largest one here so right now this is the largest okay now we'll go to 10th position what is the 10th position number here 9 here 9 this 9 and this 9 this is 5 this is 4 so check now 9 9 5 4 which one is the largest these two so then this is gone only we have this this is larger this is larger let's see out of these two which is larger right now both are 92 okay let it be both 92 now now we'll go to the third digit that is a hundreds position there is no hundred position here so that's gone here there is a three so we have to put here three okay four and seven okay now we see here 92 is less and 392 is bigger one so hence this is gone now this is only largest at this moment but also we need to check under location which is the highest number seven is the highest so then 742 456 is lesser and this is lesser and this is still lesser so hence this is a largest number okay now let's study fourth position there is no fourth position there is no fourth position here we have fourth digit is only four here and we have nine so let's go with four and nine so now out of these two which is highest this is highest okay nine is highest so already we defined that is larger now coming to the next fifth position fifth position there is no fifth position there is no fifth here no here what is the fifth position here eight we'll put eight here in this column what is the highest number there is no other number only eight is highest so hence this is the largest number so we already defined this is the largest number and we can see make it out here is the last smallest number 
here is the smallest number and this is largest number so this is how uh, we need to find it out this is the second methodology and first scenario is we have to find how many digits are there in the given numbers then accordingly when we comparing with another number comparing is always starts with the two numbers minimum two numbers is required so we have a four numbers here totally this is one number and this is one number this is one number and this is one number so four numbers so we can compare with the four numbers the condition is to comparing purpose we need minimum two numbers that is the condition okay minimum two numbers required we need to put in the place value analyze these numbers in place value place value so this is these are the conditions okay these are the conditions let's go to the second test here now you see our first condition we need to find the number of digit okay let's check the four digit is uh, four here is digit four here digit four 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 first condition is clear and for the comparing purpose we need minimum two the here how many are totally five numbers are there now let's go to the next condition analyze these numbers in place value so let's start analysis so let's take this number zero one one zero two so start with this one let's put it here two first we'll put it here zero we'll put it here one and we'll put it here one we'll put it here zero now find in this column which is highest at this moment this is highest okay so let it be highest that one right now now we'll go to the second one zero two zero two one let's put under the table zero two zero two one so now check under the tenth position which is highest this and this okay so previous one we'll take it out right now we have this is largest and this is largest we need to find out of these two which is largest right now this value is shows 20 this value is 21 which is highest 20 or 21 21 is highest right according to the natural table number system so then we have to keep this one as the largest now this is the largest now go to the third position what is the third position here two zero two nine zero sorry nine let's put here this nine here this nine here this two here zero here two here okay now see here we found earlier this is the largest now zero no value so two one is a 21 all are different numbers so let's right now it is 21 is lesser numbers means a smaller number so hence we are taking out here this one this is not a largest now let's find out which is the largest find this column how many numbers are largest number nine nine two are the largest numbers so hence this is the largest number right now this is largest and this is largest once again check now this is nine zero two this is 920 so 902 is more or 920 is more this is a more means la highest number okay hence we will consider 920 is the largest at this moment okay let's delete the markup now going to the last position that is the fourth position here one one nine 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 so let's put under this one one nine 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 so check it now here how many numbers are less smaller and how many numbers are more three nines are there three three number of times nines are there so previously we found this is largest right now this is one one so it's not a largest now we have to take out so this is largest this is largest at this moment this is largest let's put here so at this moment we need to ignore this one ignore this one out of this we need to study only these two one two not one zero twenty one equal to nothing but only twenty one and this is a two ten so two not one two ten because this is very small so taken out so only left out here is two not one or two ten which is highest two ten is highest right so hence this is the largest so hence so we have to take out everything finally the 210 related is only the highest so this is the largest number this is the largest number okay and what is the smallest number this is the smallest number and one more condition here now you see the so far we studied the three conditions the fourth condition to find the largest number is this is the rightmost uh, end this is the leftmost end rightmost and leftmost okay so always to find the largest number rightmost always smallest number smallest digit rightmost maintain always smaller number i'll take example in this only you see here zero here so as uh, the from the right to left if you move smaller to larger number you have to move see here zero one one is greater than zero yes 
the, sometimes it will be different i'll tell you how when it will be different two next immediately the two two is greater than one yes then nine nine is greater than two yes nine. like that so always it will be like larger number said it will go larger number said similarly for the smaller number it's reverse it's reverse here here is the smallest number and here is this side is the largest number okay exactly opposite for example here see one is the smallest number and but it is subjective to matters if you take only these two since in, this is a complete uh, group of numbers in that we found the smallest but if you take only the number one nine zero two make it make it a smallest number in this in that case check the how many digit one nine zero two okay totally four digits are there find the smallest number in this digit zero so put it zero first here okay next next higher than zero what is the one so one here next highest than the one two is there two next highest than the two it's nine so 129 is the number which is going to be okay suppose if sometimes their question will be there don't consider zero and make a smallest number okay don't consider zero and make a smallest number in that case you neglect this one it will be four number four digit but neglect zero how to neglect find the least number zero is there right now but we want to neglect so what is the next least number one so one is a minimum then okay then immediately the next number smallest we have to put this one <coughs> okay and what is the immediate next no, highest number two immediate next number nine this is, this is how it going to be smallest number consider this number only make it largest number here it's exactly opposite here is the smallest zero this will come here immediately next highest is one okay one next two then nine this is the number it becomes so this is how we need to arrange the numbers accordingly the order of uh, increment okay so this is one uh, one scenario let's go to the next example here how many digits totally five here totally five digits all are five previously all are four now all are five digits observe that everywhere last the fourth and fifth digit is 15 fourth and fifth is this is 15 here and it's same so neglect at this moment these things if, if this is a case then neglect these things just simple find which is highest in this six two three considering the previous methodology let's put three here three here let's put this nine here let's put zero so out of this which one is largest nine is largest so at this moment this is the largest okay coming to the second one year two here seven here eight one second zero how many numbers are there totally four digits are there so which is the largest in this eight is the largest okay this this is largest we found orderly so let it be now coming to the six six zero one eight okay so which is the largest in this eight is the largest so remove this one this is now 800 now consider i will say this is the largest let's compare now 800 is larger than 623 yes 800 is larger than 73 we call it is only this is 73 yes 800 is larger than 189 yes hence this is 800 so what is the remaining number 15 attach this one so this is the highest number what is the smallest number in this this is the smallest number so attach 15 so this is the smallest number highest or largest okay so this is how we need to find the largest and smallest number and uh, let's revise this one the condition is find the number of digits make sure the second is a minimum number should be two and analyze these numbers in the place value the fourth point here is uh, rightmost maintain always a smaller number in case of to find the largest number other way reverse rightmost always should higher number in case of if you want to find the smallest number next one more condition e fifth condition is check any negative numbers are there check any negative any negative numbers in the in the series given number okay check this so totally five conditions we need to make it out in generic to find the largest and the smallest okay let's go with the next one okay let us summarize on comparing numbers so far we studied the place value how to 
identify the numbers and uh, allocate them into the different set of place values and uh, from there we can find it out which is the largest and which is the smallest we found a two to three scenarios where we need to find the largest number and different rules we found during this exercise we listed all those things in the theory class so hope everyone understood properly let us move to next section in the comparing numbers itself as a part of uh, how to make a number from the given set of numbers okay that's how we are going to study now and um, there also we are going to compare with one number and making a uh, as much as possible numbers from there we are going to find the largest and the smallest one okay thank you and uh, uh, thank you for going through the complete session hope uh, everyone understood please and kindly share the content to your friends and uh, students uh, so let them go through it thank you